I mean, I think that the biggest challenges are probably the fact that our discipline is getting um, both kind of dismantled at the same time as it's getting kind of reconstituted. It's an interesting moment in that respect. I, I think that probably the biggest challenge is a, an understanding of that process. You know, what is in fact dismantling the process? Why is it not the same as it, as it was um, in years gone by? Um, uh, you know, and, and those things have to do a lot with technologies, with uh, uh, the way society views the architect, with what architects actually are used to do and what they're in fact um, asked to do. Uh, we are now in a situation where part of the dismantling process, I would say, is that um, we're not necessarily the, the most uh, vocal voice on a project. Um, there are many experts that are needed, and so we have to be one of those voices, and we have to know how to orchestrate or architect those voices together. It's, it's really key. Uh, so the heroic, kind of you know, singular heroic character of the architect is kind of uh, one of those things that's, that's perhaps going by the wayside, although it still persists in the media and, and, and kind of, you know, hero worship. Um, another thing I think is an understanding of our tools um, and how those tools are intermingling with other, other expertise tools, um, whether that's on the um, environmental front, the structural front, the material front, um, you know, and theoretical front. I mean, the tools are, are kind of critical to uh, assimilate. So that's, that's changing in a very big way, uh, the way we think. And on a conceptual level, that's probably the most interesting change that's taking place, is that I think we're, we have to recognize that we're thinking in a very different way um, by virtue of the time we live in and, and the way that our minds are beginning to uh, sort of you know, mold to these times, so whether it has to do with you know, electronic media and technology, interfacing with people globally, um, you know, all the things that, are, that we know are there, but I think the idea of really getting a grasp on those things is something we have to also think about. Well, I think uh, it's, it's obvious that uh, computing plays a very big role, and I think now the, the story is not so much just the knowledge of computing, but um, the ability to really uh, manipulate and, and utilize computing in a, in a very precise way in terms of thinking. Um, I think that's, that's obviously one thing that's necessary. I think also a kind of, um, we have to sort of broaden our scope of interest. There's a lot of talk these days about green and environmental concerns and so on, but in, in many ways architects are playing lip service to much of that, and, and um, even the best of us um, are up against the mercy of our clients in terms of what they want to really do in, in, in terms of that. But I think it should become, um, I think we'll become more and more sort of, uh, seamlessly able to integrate notions of sustainability and um, environmental concerns in our work uh, almost as if it were a natural part of the work, not so much an additional kind of service or add-on component. Um, and my belief is that, that you know, elegance in form and in structure uh, and in architecture is, is really going to be part of that. Uh, it is also elegance in terms of our response to environment and our response to, to the planet we live in. Um, that's obviously something that's, that's changing and will be probably even more heightened in 2020. Um, uh, I think those are those are the main things, a real grasp of technology and the way technology is a conceptual as well as physical, as well as practical tool and the, um, and the knowledge of the way the world in fact is is uh, changing uh, by virtue of population and climate and some other things that, that will need our kind of expertise. Well, generation to generation, it's always been uh, the, the students uh, and, and, and the younger you know, uh, actors because in fact uh, there's two things to that. One is I think there's a blissful naivete to being a student. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that that is necessary to maintain as long as you can. I think the best of the best architects um, have maintained that blissful naivete you know, from students onward. And they, in some ways, you could say Mr. Gary, at some moment in his career, when he hit seven, he was blissfully naive you know, uh, about certain things. Um, I think that's one thing that's that's very important to to, to maintain and have. Um, the other is that I think what's because of my own history with digital architecture and the stuff we did, you know, with Columbia from the mid-90s until recently, um, has been a, an interesting uh, 
there's been some problematics with that. On the one hand, uh, we, there was a lot of nervousness about the fact that, that students don't draw anymore in a traditional way and are straight into digital media very fast. And, it, and its early growing pains has been a kind of problematic of um, architects, architecture students who weren't exposed to, let's say, analog and pre-digital technique and, 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 and procedures. Uh, and those growing pains are kind of finally going by the wayside where I'm beginning to say, I see it here in my office, I see it with my students where you have a kind of a, a, a knowledge and a craft and a, and a facility with digital media that's that from the get-go is operating. Uh, and so it's an ingrained part of our processes as, as, as thinkers and as architects. So I think that that's a very important piece of artillery um, that an older generation, um, I, I have it to some extent because I was in that, I mean, it's transition generation, uh, but a generation older than mine um, has kind of looked at digital tools um, really just, just to help things go faster and quicker and cheaper. Um, but my generation has been, you know, I mean, a few others, quite a few others, have tried to uh, figure out a way to, to get these tools into the hands of us, of you know, conceptual, theoretical thinking, and ultimately how it affects spatiality. And this next generation is coming up are even more in debt, you know, more, more, let's say, steeped in that and understand it even better. And I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, you know, the, 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 those generations coming coming into the, uh, into, the into the stream. Let's say.